The last few decades have seen an explosion of people coming to Christ, with thousands of new churches being planted in many parts of the world. These young Christians are excited about their new faith, but they often lack the leaders required to bring them into maturity in the relationship with Jesus Christ. While there are at least 5 million church leaders in the world today, it is estimated that only 5% of them have been trained. And for those few who have received training, many times their training may have prepared them to preach, but it did not build their spiritual life or character and did not equip them to actually lead God's people. There is almost a famine, and I know that that's a strong word, um, in the church as far as the nourishment that people get when they go to church. If you don't have a vibrant relationship with the Lord, if you don't have a vibrant connection, you're not going to feed these hungry people that come and look up to you every Sunday. I want to see leaders return to their first love and do so with a hunger that will keep them there and just nourish them that they might nourish others as well. Our goal says that in order for that leader to be healthy and to be effective, he must be well built in five areas. Christ or spiritual life, community or relational life, character, calling, vision, and competencies, able to think and act well. So these are the, these are the five C's that for us define what is a healthy leader. For more than 20 years, LeaderSource has partnered with hundreds of church planting networks and ministries in dozens of nations around the world, teaching leaders how to build leaders. The LeaderSource approach to training is biblically sound and proven in many cultures. I met church leaders and shared about BHL. They are amazed and they always said, uh, this is the one that really needed for the church. Leader development will look different from nation to nation and culture to culture, but the core principles developed by Leader Source are effective anywhere they are taught. As a result, the leaders we train go on to train many new leaders themselves. That's that catalyst role. We don't want our name on everything, we just want the kingdom of God to be expanded. Two weeks ago, I was meeting with the CEO of a large organization called CMS. It was supposed to be just one day training for the top leaders. So at the end of the training, he said, um, Jabba, we are going to do this training for all the 400 staff of this organization. I said, why? Because I listened to my seniors who are here for the last 24 years. They said, we have never heard something like this. We have attended several trainings in 24 years, but nothing like this, which talks to my life and which talks to my transformation before I talk to my colleagues and my organization as a whole. And our hope is that in the next several decades, that ultimately we will have 100 teams functioning around the world, that we will have teams in 100 nations that we will be impacting literally several hundred thousand leaders directly every year. And not just doing theoretical trainings with them, but bringing them into a deep encounter with God, nurturing their vision and experience of union with Christ. Can you imagine several hundred thousand leaders every year are being encouraged with a vision that they can build leaders themselves. They don't just have to send them off to some other country, to some higher academic institution, but they can build leaders. And not only do they have the vision to do it, but they actually have the practical ability. They know how to build leaders because it's not hard. Wow. With a vision for healthy church, with a vision for uh, the generational succession of leaders. Can you imagine the change, the impact that this will have in the church around the world? That's my desire. I want to see the church become 
vibrant. I want to see the church regain its place in society. The need is there, the demand is there. I think uh, Leader Source is only going to expand and explode. So that is the way I see it.